Jose Youngs here with Diego Sanchez at the UFC 239 meeting. Jose Youngs. Jose Youngs. Uh, Youngs. Youngs. It's an Irish last name. So my mom is from Mexico. My dad's family is from Ireland. So as Conor McGregor once called me a Hispanic Celt. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm also Jose. Jose Diego Sanchez. Yes, exactly. So, uh, one of my questions. I'm so, by the middle name. So yeah. my dad's my first name is Joseph. He goes by Patrick, though his middle name. So. It's all one small world. You know. But we had we just had that stare down with you and Michael Chiesa. It was a, uh, a little tense, maybe on your side. You didn't want to like break eye contact from him. He didn't really want to look at you. Uh, what did you see in him when you finally squared off? It wasn't looking to see anything in him. It's just looking through him to show him who he's facing come Saturday night. He's written me off as many men have written me off. Many fans have written me off. I've been written off since the time I was on The Ultimate Fighter. I've been written off my entire career. And this man has written me off as an old man, but this is not no old man. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a savage killer, real man. And I just had to let him know and let him see that for himself. I'm just looking at your last few fights, I mean, you've, you've faced a lot of these young guys and a lot of people kind of label this as like, maybe Diego is the, the real test and then you would push them back down. Is this another one of those scenarios? And do you enjoy playing that role where you're basically just silencing your critics every fight? You know, for me, yes, I enjoy fighting these men who are considered in the average time scale of age, their prime fighting age, 26, 27, 28. I believe Chiesa, Chiesa is 29. I, uh, I enjoy going out there and, and humbling these men because they, you know, they see me as the old man, but um, I'm 37 years old and I'm in my prime. I am a true anomaly of the sport. I have found secrets ancient secrets of anti-aging and staying young and you know I'm just getting started I was living unauthentic for a long time and I really truly have found myself to know myself in the past six months and this is a this is really just a, a re, re, reinvention of, of Diego Sanchez and I am coming with with fire lava and the volcano is going to explode on the welterweight division i am focused on my mission the mission my destiny at hand to achieve my goal of becoming the welterweight gold ultimate fighting championship well that was going to be my next question i feel like you've you've won the ultimate fighter you've competed in more weight classes than i can count is the ufc title the last check that you want in your in your career uh, well, you're even the Hall of Fame now, too. I don't see it as a check. It's just a goal. And after I achieve my goal, I will still have the same extreme hunger and intensity towards doing what I do. And it's only an evolution and an adaptation process of becoming the most elite. For me, I like the word Jedi. I, I'm not trying to be the best fighter in the world. I am not trying to even be a mixed martial artist. I am a Jedi. I am different, very different, and I am making the real magic happen. Tune in Saturday night and see, see the magic. So what are these other fighters not seeing that you've now seen this long into your career that they haven't, they haven't realized that you've now are realized. It's, um, it's experience. It's always having the outside the box mentality to do things different, to do things not the way everybody else is doing things. How do you think you find the magic, man? You gotta go outside the box to look and find what you're looking for, you know? And it's, it's all universal, man. It's, it, it, we live in a, we live in a, 
in a vast universe with much, much more than earth, air, wind, water, the fire is, it's, it's, it's more, there is the unseen and I have, um, I have tapped into to, to more and I am more. Well, looking at Chiesa specifically, he's your third straight opponent that's six feet or above. He just pre he previously just defeated your old teammate, Carlos Condit. What do you make of his skill sets compared to what you've seen in the past? Chiesa's skill sets are he can fool himself and tell himself he's a striker and that he's going to outstrike me. But the guy is a grappler. He's a wrestler. And... That's his. That's his roots. That's his. It's who he is. And and uh, yeah, he's a big. He's a big, lanky guy. And I'm not concerned. I'm not worried. And I'm more focused on my skill set and the skills that I've been learning and reinventing myself as a warrior. And I, specifically, I have to ask you, uh, you are obviously Jose Diego Sanchez, uh, Hispanic American, uh, Kelvin Gastelum previously fought for the title, Tony Ferguson, UFC 238, Tony Ferguson won, Tatiana Suarez won, Henry Cejudo won, Andrew Ruiz Jr. won the weekend before that. Are you, like, you are probably ahead of all these guys in terms of specifically Chicanos in combat sports. Now there's this massive rise. What do you make of this? Like, we, we've seen it coming, but it's just kind of boiling all at once that all these Chicano fighters are now at the forefront of combat sports. You know what? This is, it's Brown Town, baby, and we're coming for all the gold belts. I appreciate it. Good luck on Saturday. Yeah. Good luck.